A cafe latte with bite. Finding an edible coffee cup, fantastic. You can actually eat it. How crazy is that? Single-use plastics like straws, plates, cutlery and cotton bud sticks will be banned from retail in Victoria from February the 1st. Single-use plastics make up about uh, a third of our waste. But most kinds of disposable drink cups and lids are exempt. Anything that has to hold hot water, that we need to protect people from burns and things like that, it's really complex. Disposable cups and lids have plastic elements to make them waterproof. That's why more than one billion still end up in landfill nationally each year. We've certainly got some more work to do before we introduce a ban for something like coffee cups. Some, however, are serving up their own solutions. Thank you. At Melbourne Uni, 15 shops are part of a shared cup scheme where, like the library, it's free unless you don't return it. At this one shop, 20 people a day scan, swap and go, which adds up to thousands of cups each year. I think every little bit counts. Um, yeah, it feels good to be part of the solution. And here in Collingwood, only reusable cups are used. Those brought in can be washed, and with a deposit, you can borrow one. It's actually quite a challenge. We turn away quite a few customers. However, those willing to pay extra can get a snack with their drink. We're trying to be a stepping stone between where the community in Melbourne and Victoria is at now and where we're trying to get to. So you're probably wondering, what does an edible coffee cup even taste like? Well, it's crunchy, not sweet at all. A bit like wheat bix Not surprising, considering it's made of oats and grains. And the days of disposable cups are numbered. WA is looking at further phasing out throwaway cups this year and Victoria is aiming to cut landfill rates by 80% by 2030. Skunder Razak, ABC News, Melbourne.